assalamu alaikum students today we are discussing oxidation uh, as i have uh, circulated few um, important um, notes to hiba and i hope all of you have received uh, these notes these will help you to understand the oxidation process that is going on in the body with the help of uh, fatty acid so oxidation occur by several method that is uh, three methods are important beta oxidation omega oxidation and alpha oxidation but quantitatively important oxidation process is beta oxidation and is the most important pathway um, why because it provides huge number of energy to the body at the time of trauma and at the time of stress whenever body need excessive amount of energy so these fatty acids are basically which are releasing releasing from uh, triglyceride they will provide sufficient amount of energy to cope up under such condition mono polyunsaturated uh, require certain special reaction due to the presence of double bond so beta oxidation of saturated fatty acid is the first topic which uh, i am going to start and i will take the example again here uh, palmitic acid which is containing 16 carbon and it is a 16 carbon fatty acid so beta oxidation of saturated fatty acid will start with the reaction of any fatty acid component reacting with the 23 molecule of oxygen and ultimately they will give rise and converted into 12 carbon dioxide and 16 water molecule so 16 carbon fatty acid palmitic acid is being taken up and it will provide large amount of energy which is utilized for the synthesis of atp beta carbon is mainly undergoing into oxidation reaction and all of you know that where is the position of beta carbon which we have already discussed in the class so every time by breaking down of two carbon finally two carbon fragment will left to form acetyl coa there is an important thing which i forget to tell you that uh, whenever oxidation will start whenever oxidation will start it is necessary that the fatty acid which is undergoing into oxidation it will uh, react with the coa molecule in the presence of atp and it will be converted into its coa derivative for example uh, we are discussing or we are um, taking the example of palmitic acid for beta oxidation so it will react with coa in the presence of one atp so ultimately in this reaction palmitoyl coa will be synthesized ultimately in this reaction palmitoyl coa will be synthesized and remaining 1 amp will be liberated along with ppi which is basically the pyrophosphate which are the constituents of two uh, phosphate molecule so one molecule of atp is required in this reaction along with one molecule of atp two high energy phosphate bonds are utilized in this reaction every time upon beta oxidation two molecule or two uh, carbon fragment acetyl coa will be liberated so if you count uh, 16 carbon palmitoyl coa which is containing 16 carbon and it is saturated i'm repeating so how many acetyl coa will be synthesized eight molecule of acetyl coa are synthesized during this process and in this reaction the first step or the initial step which uh, i mentioned you just uh, few minutes before that it is basically the synthesis of any fatty acid component into its fatty acyl coa
co-ash molecule is also needed in each oxidation reaction now recall uh, my previous lecture which i given when uh, we were conducting classes i told you and i used the term carnitine and i told you that uh, whenever beta oxidation is taking place where it will occur it will occur in the inner lining of mitochondria and inner lining of mitochondria is impermeable for long chain fatty acid which are containing greater number of carbon that is more than 12 carbon so uh, palmitic acid is a 16 carbon moiety it can not be transported in the inner mitochondria until and unless there is a component carnitine is present so what will happen uh, because oxidation is only occurring where in the mitochondria so transportation of long chain fatty acid is essential in this reaction and for this reaction so what will happen carnitine is acting as a transporter and it will help to transport fatty molecule in uh, in the inner mitochondria uh, so if uh, it is very important uh, to note that if there is deficiency of carnitine which is usually observed uh, as an inborn error so it can appear in the newborns and it can also appear in the adult so it will result impaired fatty acid oxidation that will result accumulation of lipids in the body as well as it results ketoacidosis and, and secondly as if oxidation is not occurring in the body the muscle are unable or fail to utilize energy uh, for perform for the performance of different activities so what will happen uh, the muscle weakness can also be observed and hypoglycemia can also be observed beta oxidation of one molecule of palmitic acid yield almost eight molecule of acetyl coa uh, and one molecule of acetyl coa when oxidized what will happen with the acetyl coa it will go and take part again in the oxidation reaction uh, which is occurring in the citric acid cycle so one molecule of acetyl coa when oxidized in the citric acid cycle results to form 12 atps so now you can calculate number of total atps which are synthesizing with eight molecule of acetyl coa just multiply eight with 12 so how many molecule i think 96 molecules are uh, on of atps are synthesized and during the whole reaction during the whole reaction 7 nadh and 7 fadh2 are also uh, taking part in the reaction and if you recall uh, the amount of atp which are liberated with 1 nad is 2.5 while with 1 FAD is 1.5. So 7, 7 NAD and 7 FAD are uh, involved in this reaction which are liberating energy. So you can calculate uh, by multiplying 7 with 2.5 and by multiplying 7 with 1.5 so 28 total atps are synthesizing with nadh and uh, with fad uh, now you can combine 96 96 molecule which are synthesized uh, with the acetyl coa that will help you So uh, one more thing which I would like to uh, let you know that in some books it is written that 12 ATPs are synthesized with one uh, with eight mol molecule of acetyl CoA and in some book it is uh, mentioned that total 10 ATPs are synthesized uh, with one acetyl CoA. So it's up to you that uh, what you what you will consider, but both are correct. So the range 
upper limit is 12 and the lower limit is 10 for the synthesis of ATP. So if we are uh, going to calculate ATPs with the 10 uh, molecule of ATP with 1 minus acetyl then 8 acetyl CoA are liberating almost 80 molecule of ATP and just add up 28 ATPs which are liberated with the utilization of 7 NAD and 1 FAD. So the total number of molecule of ATP which are uh, synthesize during uh, the complete reaction of palmitoyl uh, beta oxidation are 108. All important fatty acids in the human body are those having an even number of carbon atom. But there are still some odd number of carbon fatty acid containing components which are existing in the body. And oxidation can also occur with the odd number of carbon but there is a slightly difference between the even number of uh, carbon oxidation and odd number of carbon oxidation or fatty acid oxidation. So um, in, in odd number fatty acid oxidation will occur at the successive beta carbon and and each cycle produce one molecule of acetyl coa and finally a three carbon fragment left in the form of propionyl coa of propionyl coa which is converted into succinyl CoA, which can easily enter into the citric acid cycle to oxidize and yield energy, and it can form glycogen and glucose. Okay, student. One more important thing that I have, uh, I am not going through the complete reaction and complete series of reaction, which are also uh, stating the different enzyme which are participating in the beta oxidation of even saturated fatty acid. Uh, I have just given. Uh, handout not handout but a note about the uh, sequence of and the name of different um, fatty acids which are synthesized in uh, this step by step reaction if you note that I have circulated uh, in red color written material that is mentioning uh, the first component is palmitic acid and that it, it will synthesize a CoA derivative that is palmitoyl CoA. Then in the third step, alpha and beta, this palmitoyl CoA will be converted into uh, unsaturated palmitoyl CoA. Then alpha beta unsaturated palmitoyl CoA is synthesized. In the fourth step, step beta hydroxy palmitoyl CoA is synthesized. And in the fifth step, beta keto palmitoyl coa is synthesized and in the uh, sixth step meristoyl coa is synthesized and finally at the seventh step acetyl coa is synthesized so if you note that um, keto palmitoyl coa which is also containing 16 carbon it is uh, once uh, reacting to release the acetyl CoA which are containing two carbon uh, moiety and meristyl CoA which is containing 14 carbon. So this series of reaction will take place one by one and converting the meristyl and liberating two carbon uh, moieties at every step. Uh, so the final end product is uh, the synthesis of 8 acetyl CoA plus AMP and plus pyrophosphate component. So, here we have finished beta oxidation of uh, saturated fatty acid. If you have any problem, you can share your comments uh, with Thiba and she will inform me about and I will accordingly reply your queries. Thank you so much.